Hey guys, crew blind way back. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Rick. And we are back with Breaking Bad. Last time on Breaking Bad. Whitewash. Yes. No. We, we got a car wash. <laughs> Bill Burr. Billy. Billy Burr. Bill Burr. Billy Bones. Bill Burr. Um, <laughs> Bill Burr, they helped claim some water contamination from a thing that's going to cost them lots of money. Yeah. They sold it for much cheaper. Like 800000 like, Yeah, it was supposedly going to cost them like at least two hundred thousand dollars. Eight hundred thousand is still a chunk of change. Oh. Yeah, eight hundred thousand is still a chunk of change. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more than that, Rick. Like I had, a, I had this friend. His name was Uncle, Uncle. What was his name? Damn it! He wasn't really friend. He's a long time ago. He's my grandma's friend. We called him Uncle something. Uncle Al. It's Uncle, Uncle Al. Al. And he had a coffee table. We just threw all his change on. And then he'd be like, go ahead and get you some change. And I'd go over and grab a penny. He'd be like, no, two hands. Get in there. Grab it. <laughs> I was like a little kid. He had a chunk of change on his coffee table. All right. And he had a giant tiger on his uh, couch. Interesting. Like a Marietta tiger? No, this was in Toledo. Oh. He had Toledo tiger. Okay. From the zoo. Damn. All right. Is it a... Is it a lesson? Is it death? Because, you know, he said, like, I know Walt and Jesse are a package, but something has to be done. Is that... Did they find a different solution? And it's not that we're going to take him out to kill him? I don't know. I mean... What could the other solution be? There's nothing else. There's no one else Jesse cares about. If they could threaten or uh, maybe his little brother, I guess. His maybe. little brother, right? Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, yeah. they moved, right? I don't know where they moved to. I don't think they moved. They um. Yeah, they haven't moved anywhere. They wanted to buy the or have the aunt's house, but they were forced to sell it because of Saul. Or, I'm sorry, they tried to sell it. They had to sell it to Jesse because of Saul. But yeah. I don't think they moved. They were selling anywhere. it, and then they talked about all this stuff they were hiding about it, how it used to be a meth house and all this stuff, and then Saul bought it for Jesse. Yeah. Under a secret. So they didn't move anywhere. But I don't know what the... I don't know. I don't, I'm just trying to think, like, are they going to be killing Jesse here? Is that what's going to be going on? Or is there something else to where... They're taking him to rehab. He wasn't blindfolded. Yeah, true. <laughs> like, they're going to put him and his job's going to be in the trucks. Like, what yeah. Mike had to do, you know? Because they showed that in the beginning. What the heck I, was that? I don't know why. Like, who was ambushing the truck? Was it somebody was, else? I mean, they were speaking Spanish, so yeah. were they the, the Mexican guys that he screwed over to before? Or, yeah, I mean, like, was there that power vacuum he created or is there a new dude in charge down there man Mike's here and like why did he think that truck was going to get hit why did what was important about it because maybe he's just I mean whatever was in there have. just got destroyed wrecked yeah they weren't going after the product specifically they were just trying to interrupt the supply yeah so it seems like I mean maybe they were because I mean if you weren't if you're were just gonna do that I would have just lit the truck on fire instead of going in you know what I mean they like after they shot they opened up and all they did was shoot up the batter like the meth that was hidden in the batter was probably still good I mean you know what I mean maybe depends I mean if it was wrapped up well enough and it didn't get directly hit I guess it'd probably be okay they'd have more of it than not. I mean, you, I guarantee you could still get a decent amount of meth from the, even after shooting that place up, you know? Yeah. Probably. Um, I don't know. Um, Hank thinking that Gale is Heisenberg mm -hmm. kind of helps, but it might, I don't know, maybe they think that it's over. They just, he just thinks that it's a, it was a hit that was, you know, you know what I mean? Like maybe. another rival hit him killed them not have to worry about it but if they still find more blue meth out on the market but I mean they could yeah. just think that like someone still was formula or whatever maybe you know they needed they needed to fucking change the color add food color cause like <laughs> if one of those dudes make it pink came with to that kill magnesium him, or what was it 
Hmm? Was it magnesium? What makes it pink? Oh, yeah. It but oxidizes. That whole conversation they had, like... But then Hank's like, wait a minute, pink. Go WW, Walter White, all shit. You know? I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. But, I mean, change the colors so you can kind of, you know, put them off the trail a little bit. Maybe. So, or, you know, whoever killed Gal knew who he was and needed to kill him because they, they had the formula or whatever, you know? But, like, if they knew who he was, why wouldn't they take the notebook with the formulas? So, I don't know. But, yeah, it's good to see Hank. Well, if you're, if you're killing him to kill him because he's making the meth, it's taking out a rival creator or something like that. Yeah. It's not necessarily, I'm going to kill him so I can get the formula. That's true. They still want the formula, though. But, I mean, there were witnesses and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the one that they're talking about is the, the dude that showed up that Gus killed. Yeah, I'm he pretty got sure. seen there, and he was there for a minute, and but yeah, still, like, yeah, I'm sure he touched something. Jesse letting that money get stolen, like he's still a liability. Yeah, definitely. Well, that guy goes and has all his money and stuff. He started asking questions. But that guy's like, I'm not gonna get in trouble. I stole it from that guy, and then you get, you get led back to Jesse, and then you get led back to you know, it's yeah. not a good idea. What is entailed in a vegan s'more? What in a s'more isn't vegan? Milk? Is there milk in the chocolate? Probably milk in the chocolate, milk in the marshmallows. There's probably lots of processed stuff in the actual graham cracker. Maybe. Not like raw wheat and stuff like that. Um, Eggs. Yeah. Do you guys think that the disappear thing will come back? Like, could that be like how they... Like, I, I mean, you got to end the show eventually one of two ways, I feel like. One, I mean, Walt dies. You know? Yeah. All this stuff eventually catches up to him and yeah. he gets killed. Scarface I mean, style. Another way is, like, is are they offering an idea of a way out in the future by mentioning this disappear guy? Or Walt ends up on top is the other way. Like, he just runs everything? I yeah. yeah. I feel like he's going to use... Too. I feel like he's going to fake um, Gus out with the disappear thing. And he's going to come back... Like, all in black, with his sunglasses and his hat. He's going to waste everybody. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say he's going to be the best person I would choose to, like, go and gun someone down. Yeah. No. <laughs> but it also opens the door, like, you know, if, if there's a guy who can make people disappear alive, there's probably a guy who can make people disappear dead. Yeah, we already have a mic. I mean, other guys. There's got to be other guys on the market who so are other guys good that or guys. better. It's easier to make a dead guy disappear yeah. than a live guy. Exactly. Yeah, uh, I'm sure there are other people, but like Gus seems to be protecting against that sort of thing from the people down south, like, you know, the other violent drug dealers and stuff. Like, sure, Walt was smarter, but Gus, I'm sure, has been watching his back for a long time. Yeah. And he's been planning this for a while, too. See, if Gus get hit, maybe he could also... I don't know if it would solve his issues for Walt, but if Gus got killed by the guys who are hitting his trucks... It would help. I don't know what that means for Walt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then he wouldn't be worrying about Gus. But then does that put him in a worse predicament of, like, the Mexican cartels doing it, and then they're trying to take him back down to Mexico or something again? Because they were, you know, Tuco was trying to do that... Yeah, a few seasons back. Yeah, so I don't know if that in, I don't know if that works well for Walt or against him. But if you can get rid of Gus while still having Mike, then maybe you can have Walt fill the shoes of Gus with Mike working with him, and Saul working with him, and Skyler working with him, and then kind of start their own or something. Do you think Walt keeps Jesse on board then? I don't know, Jesse. <laughs> I hate how spirally he's been lately. So he got really good. I felt for a while. Yeah, it was rehab and things were getting good, and now I don't know, the killing Gale is not. It's not good for him. Yeah. Nope, it's not great. I don't know what's gonna happen. Although on Jesse's th account, I do love that he's like, "You're not gonna kill him." He's like what? You wouldn't have blindfolded him if you were gonna kill him. Yeah. And he walked away. <laughs> like, I love. I love that. It's like, man, I'm paying attention still. Yeah. It may seem crazy, but I'm still not dumb. Although, he just doesn't care, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's not dumb, he just doesn't care. Right. So. It's crazy. I don't think he's going to die, but I, I don't know what's going to happen. 
I feel like they're going to force him back into rehab. Because back when he was in in rehab and he was following the steps and everything, like he was good. Just he was he was cutting from Gus, trying to make a little bit of money on the it side. It looked like they were driving out towards Gus's place. Though. But he had motivation on that because of losing her, right? Like that was kind of his motivation to do yeah. that because he blamed himself. Yeah. Like this, I don't know that he would. I think he wants that because he wants to stop the pain of you know, he killed somebody or something. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's haunting him, and he can't. There's not enough noise in the world to drown out what he feels about killing somebody. I liked how he knew he couldn't throw water out, so he paid a hundred dollars to. You want a hundred dollars? <laughs> Come out, bitch. He took that girl up to his room to play video games. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be for sex or something. But well, they might do that too, because I don't know if she was the same one, but they had, you know, he had a girl in there. The last time he was there. Was that a girl? I thought it was a yeah. dude. No, it was a girl. Pretty sure it's a girl. It was okay. a girl. Like just some dude. Looks, I don't looks know. Looks like you. Yeah. <laughs> just turn the other way. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure there was there was tits when she was on her side, like when he first got up and and went downstairs. I was pretty sure there was like some rolls. Eric has tits too. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more Breaking Bad, make sure you subscribe and check out early access and full length available over at Patreon and or our website down in the description below, where you can also find information on WaveCon and you can come and hang with us. Hang with us August seventh to the eleventh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it.